And good morning. I want to start you out with some pretty color on the eastern horizon as seen from A Street and Abbott Lane in Colorado Springs. Looking over downtown. And uh, we have partly cloudy conditions. It's 56 degrees right now. The wind is calm here in Colorado Springs. Pueblo West also showing a very light wind. It's 57 degrees at Parkview's new emergency services building. Walsenburg is 60, west wind at 7. Some of what you see there may be in the form of smoke. We've had quite a few uh, bits of information coming in suggesting heavy smoke across the San Luis Valley. Now, there are no areas of wildfires going on here in Colorado, but there are quite a few of them in New Mexico and Arizona. And the southwesterly wind may be blowing them into the area, so something we could see today as well. Skycast, though, showing that as far as cloud cover is concerned, we're not expecting all that much of it through the day today. We're probably going to have a few clouds off and on here and there. We don't expect any rain or any thunderstorms really anywhere across the state. So our main concern will be with the wind and the dry conditions coming with that wind, especially as our temperatures are heating up into the 80s and 90s in more of eastern Colorado today. 60s and 70s up high, and the wind will occasionally be gusting between 30 and 40 miles an hour this afternoon. And then overnight tonight, we'll continue with a partly cloudy sky. Of course, the wind will back off some, as it always does at night. We should be a little warmer tonight. More areas will remain in the 50s. Uh, we've had some 40s this morning, but uh, I think for tomorrow morning, 50s and 60s are going to be the way to go. And we'll stay real warm tomorrow. Highs right back in the mid 80s in Colorado Springs. Then some cooling through the end of the week. There may be some thunderstorms in northern Colorado and or extreme eastern Colorado near the Kansas State line Wednesday. And if so, those could be strong. But along the front range, we're not expecting that that's going to be the case. We'll have to wait till the weekend, maybe Saturday into Sunday. And Sunday looks like the better opportunity for us to pick up some rain around Colorado Springs. You know, at which point we'll be in the 80s again. Um, but still, the afternoon storms would tend to cool things off, of course. Pueblo, mid 90s tomorrow. Then we'll fall back into the 80s through the end of the week. Might poke up into the 90s on Saturday, then down some Sunday. Sunday would appear to be our first chance in Pueblo to pick up some thunderstorms over the next week or so. Overnight lows pretty much in the 50s throughout the period, which should also be true in Canyon City. You'll have 90 ish tomorrow, fall back into the 80s through the end of the week. Probably stay there this weekend and see about turning on the spigots about Sunday or so. But between now and then, wind, wind and drying conditions. So fire weather will be our main concern. Mountain areas, of course, be cooler. Temperatures on the warm days in the 70s. We might briefly dip back into the 60s. Wednesday into Thursday, overnight lows will be in the 40s and then right back into the 70s for the weekend. And a chance for some thunderstorms starting Saturday, but more likely, certainly, as it looks now on Sunday. All right. Thank you, Marty. You're welcome.